right. So the end of this video was cut drastically. And I just looked at it, and it's been like 30 minutes since I've done this video. So now, looking at the end of the video and knowing what I said at the end of the video, the content of what I said at the end of the video has been censored. And I can explain it. Because what I'm about to say right now, I don't know. Some people would think, hey, this brother's just tripping. But I'm going to say it. At the end of that video, I said, and I repeat, if the United States of America really wants to, excuse me, control us and track us, and this is what they should do. And I'm going to say it just like I said. This, if, if, if you really want to look at the situation, our economic situation is in crumbles. We don't even have a new president yet, and everybody thinks he's going to fix everything. He's starting his whole administration with no money in the bank. It's like getting a job and not getting paid to do your job. In other words, um, I need to put some sprinklers in the front yard, and, you know, I'm the head gardener. You need to buy some sprinklers. Well, we don't have no money in the budget for sprinklers. Obama won't be able to buy sprinklers for the front yard. Okay, we need some food down there, you know. Florida after Hurricane, let's make up a name, Juliet or whatever. We can't send no help down to Florida, Mr. President Obama, because there's no money. Hey, there's some shit jumping off up here in Canada, right upstairs. We got to send some people to Canada because they're coming our way. Mr. President, our troops are all stretched out. We have no one to help defend Canada. Hey, they're attacking Mexico and they got us on both sides. We need to get our troops down to Mexico. Mr. President Obama, we have no troops for Canada or Mexico. Hey, our people are starving in Hollywood, California. We have no funds to send people down there to help those people in Hollywood. Hey, down here in Texas, our oil wells are going dry. We need some money, Mr. President, to get the pumps going again, to stick the straw a little bit deeper. We have no money for straws for Texas. The man is starting with nothing. But if you really want to control the American people, right now while we have some damn money and everything is broke, the only way we can fix it is to give the money to the people and not industry. Give Americans $350,000 on an ID card. I said it in the first video. Give us all some money so we can put it back into the economy. Because if people got money, they spend it. They spend it on dumb things, lavish things. You have taught us to want. I want the new iPod Century. iPod Century, yes, yeah, when they put the little lens in your eyeball. And all you got to do is point your finger where the buttons are. I got to have it. And everybody will break their ass to go get the little things stuck in their fucking heads and shit. Because society has taught us to want shit that we have no need for. If it's going to better our lives, fucking bring it. If it's going to hurt us and make us dumb, you need to tell us this is a stupid box. But the box works so good, you can tell us to buy a new box. You bought a box last year for $700 in an economy where people ain't got money. And everybody's rushing out to go buy boxes right now. Breaking their neck to get these fucking flat screen boxes to put on their walls. And come February 19th when they're beaming shit in your fucking heads, don't say I ain't said they don't do it. You better get ready for the digital, because what you're going to see may not be what is actually happening. You're going to see what you're told to see. You're going to believe it because you see it. You've been taught all your life, seeing is believing. So like I said, 
You give us a real American ID card. You put $350,000 on it. The economy will be turned around. Those who don't have a bank account would have a United States of America bank account. Because the country believes in the people and the people own the country. You give us all a part of the country now and we'll give back to the country. A handful of people have taken from all of us. All of us. And they control us to this day. And I don't give a fuck. The bottom line is I don't care anymore. And you've taught us all not to give a damn, so we don't care. Give us a piece of the damn pie so you can stay on top of Mount Olympus. Obama can't fix that. Obama don't control the world. Obama ain't God. I'm tired of people trying to, I'm, I'm tired of this shit. The man is just a man. He's the manager of the United States of America. He's getting his management team together and they're going to manage the biggest trailer park on the motherfucking planet. That's what he's going to do. Shit. I mean, they should have let the end of the video go because now I'm going fast to sex matters. And I'm serious. America is fucked up and people are saying that they want to control us control me give me $750,000 give me a million dollars I don't give a fuck whatever you give me I'm gonna give it back use your brain and I told this man last night if you give if the American government gave you $300,000 right now what would you do it I put it in the bank he would put it in the bank and then there'd be a lot of Americans with money in the bank and they give the money to the bank and the banks themselves can do what the fuck they want to do with the money. The banks get the same money you're giving them. Oh. Fraud. Well, someone's lying. Nope. All right. Here's the age chart. Based on people's age, you give them the money. They'll spend it back in the system. New businesses will be developed. Partnerships will come up. Everything comes up. It's like letting people homestead new fucking land. It's time for you to let us homestead what we got and open up some fucking territory. There's no room for expansion if you put people in spots. The world is a big ball and everybody, Obama, Obama. Obama don't control the world. People don't want Obama lowered the price again. Obama's not the president yet. Obama gonna help us all. Obama's not. Obama can only do what Obama got the power to do. What's, what's that? Obama gonna put on a fucking cape like in them damn Obama girl videos and fly around and save motherfuckers? Obama is a president. What is he supposed to do different? What is he supposed to go dunk? He gonna dunk. He gonna dunk and make the economy a dunk. He gonna make it funky. Come on, man. Let the man do his job. Don't make him mythological. I'm tired of it. He ain't even the president yet. Obama's going to do this. Obama ain't got no money. Obama don't run the world. And if the money, all the money they're giving away, they need to give to the people. If this man is going to have a government with no money, his people need to have money so the government will thrive. That's the bottom line. And all that money that they gave, and then all the money they're going to give to the auto workers, and then whoever's next, all that money they're giving away, who is next? I say give the money to the American people. The American people only have one place to put it, in the fucking bank. And if they don't want to have a bank account, you give them an American ID with their money on the fucking ID card. Let them put money on the card, take money off. This is your American ID card. No one can duplicate this card. Unlike an ID or driver's license, you can leave your shit at home. I can understand. There's $350,000 on this card. This card is in the safe somewhere under my motherfucking house. Wouldn't that be smart? You want people getting kidnapped and taken for their goddamn money? But you've been too. I'm going to make another part to this video. I'm going to fix it so these videos can't be linked. 
motherfuckers piss 